Welcome to the Asakusa Travel Tour, everybody. In this video, we're going to show you the hidden way to enjoy Asakusa and the surroundings. And if you watch the entire video, you won't have to plan a single thing. So let's do this. Now because Asakusa is totally overcrowded during the day, we actually recommend you start off downriver at Shio Dome first. Here you can have a late lunch with amazing views, then you can take the scenic riverboat route to Asakusa which most tourists totally miss out on. Alright everybody, so the first thing you have to do when you start off this tour is you arrive at Shio Dome Station at the Oedo Line and you follow the signs for the exits 1 to 6. So you keep walking down the hallway and you go up the escalator. Then you leave the station, you take a right and you walk toward the building which is titled Karuta Shio Dome. So once you get in the building, you walk straight, then you'll find the sign of Sky Restaurant. Then you take left and you find the elevator. Yes. Then Go up the elevator to the 46th floor. Yes. You got an awesome view on the way. So when you go on to 46th floor by the lift, you'll find a sushi restaurant on the right. And the restaurant called Misushi is usually available for lunchtime without a booking. Yeah, it's open from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. for lunchtime and they have some very high quality sushi. I guess this is actually like an older style sushi and the one that we got was the Nihonbashi Special. Now not only is that sushi real good, but the view that they have there is actually incredible. So that's one of the really good points about going to this restaurant. Yes, the view is really nice. You can see Ginza and Tokyo Station, Sky Tree and the seaside as well. So if the weather is really good or even cloudy, it's so nice to have sushi with the great view of big city Tokyo. So now we have sushi and the great view of modern Tokyo. I think it's good to have some traditional Japan aspects, don't you think? Sounds good, Akina. So where are we going next? So we're going to this Japanese garden called Hamarikyu. Yeah, it's actually an Edo era park, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right in the heart of downtown Tokyo. So let's head on over. So once you get out of the building, you will have to find this escalator following this route. We're outside the Hamariku Gardens grounds right now. It's open from 9 to 5 and it costs 300 yen. It's a pretty good place, right boss? Yes, in this garden you can have Japanese green tea and Japanese traditional sweets too. So experience some traditional Japan in this garden. So when you get these tickets, you should check the timetable for the boat. It goes to Asakusa and on this boat of course there is no traffic and you can have some nice beer with the nice view of Tokyo from the river. Anyway, we like this park because you can see how different um, traditional Japan garden and the modern city Tokyo are. Especially when you compare the little tiny tea house and the tall buildings like Conrad and some other companies building. It's very interesting to see the contrast. Now we're heading on over to the traditional tea house to get ourselves some old timey Japanese tea and sweets. All right. 
right, after having that traditional tea and sweets, we're heading on over to the last ferry to go to Asakusa. The last one's at 4.15, so it's getting pretty close to that time. <laughs> Let's hurry up. So just buy a ticket at that ticket machine and get on the boats. It's not the fastest way to get to Asakusa, but if you go around the sunset time, it's a pretty awesome way to see the city. And if you want to burn some time, you best be getting yourself some what? <laughs> Pints! <laughs> yeah, get yourself some beer. It's definitely an awesome way to chill for a change and enjoy the river views. Um, you'll get some nice view of Rainbow Bridge and some other river view. Yeah, so check it out, baby. All right, I think I can drink too much because we got some <laughs> serious hiccups right now. But anyway, once you get off that boat, you gotta head on toward this red bridge, which we have behind us here. You walk up these stairs here, and there's a main road, which you're gonna fall down there. And when you go down this direction, there's an entrance to a free view of Asakusa, which is really nice. So the building is just opposite of the Asakusa main gate. Go on up to the 8th floor and there's some pretty nice views of Sensoji Temple and you got some nice views of the Tokyo Sky Tree. So once you finish the observed tree, just head to the main gate and take a few good selfies. Then you'll find the nice main path to the temple. So I just found amazake, which is like typical Japanese winter drink, kind of sweet and supposed to be healthy. So let's try it. So how's that amazake, Akina? That tasted really nice, especially in the cold weather. Yeah, it was a really good treat. Then after you enjoy checking out some of the shops, go on straight ahead and check out the Sensoji Temple. Also, we prefer to come to Asakusa in the night because Asakusa is one of the most popular destinations in Tokyo these days. So it gets really crowded in the day. But if you come in the night, it's less people and the lights are up. So it's more mysterious and kind of romantic. Another reason we want to come to Asakusa in the night is the food tent. And these tents, you can feel the hardcore Japanese culture of salary men. Yeah, it's pretty awesome to check out these food tents. They do a lot of drinking and eating, and it's a nice way to see a different side of Japan. So if you want to head on over to the food tents, just go out the left side of the temple when you're facing the temple. There's a gate to walk out. So once you walk through the gate, just walk straight and take the first turn to the left. Then you'll see some food tents. So we found a random food tent that looked pretty nice, went inside, got ourselves two beers, which happened to be about a liter in size, which we didn't expect. And as far as foods are concerned, we got us some ehire, which is basically like dried and grilled stingray meat. We also got some hanpen grilled, which is uh, some fish cake. And we got us some oden, which is basically a Japanese winter food. So, if you like the video, please remember to subscribe and hit the like button. Yeah, if we get more than 50 likes, we'll probably do another video like this in another part of Tokyo. So, thanks for watching this video, everybody. Why, Why don't, don't you leave a comment? comment let, let us know what, what you, you think. think. Thank, Thank you. you.